Hi Tiny Home Fam. So this is Lindsay with Experience Tiny Homes and I'm in an airport. Actually the San Diego airport and I've just flown here safely. In the 50 years of flying I've never had the experience where our plane was coming down where even with buildings about to hit the runway and then banked up <laughs> into the air again. I had never had that. So Fortunately, we landed safely, clearly. I'm um, a little, little nervous, gotta say, but the pilot in front of me, um, not that I was sitting in the cockpit, no. Um, there's pilots that fly for free. That's one of the perks. Um, I asked him, he's like, what was that all about? He's like, oh, there was probably a plane on the runway, and now we're, you know, I was like, were you nervous? He's like, no. <laughs> so, <sighs> nothing to be nervous about. And today, 19 days out of 30 days since the time we got our notice to vacate, I'm just here playing. I'm ready to join my tiny home friends at the Tiny Fest California in Del Mar, San Diego area. And I wanna show you what the um, airport has on display for art. So these are, I think, pieces of wood that was in the Southern California fires. And what stopped me was this. <laughs> Just a big stump painted. So my humor with this is that my father and my brother are both woodworkers. They are, my, my brother has a lathe which is the thing that makes bowls. You know, it spins around and you use the tools and you open it up, make a bowl, you make platters, vases, wine glasses, or um, you know, the stem for the wine glass out of wood. He made, my brother's made um, wine stoppers. My dad is the one that started on it. My brother took it and really went with it because my brother's got a background in, um, in, in um, um, design, like product design. Sorry, plane, no, I can't blame it on jet lag. It was only a two hour flight. But the stump, I had to put my brother on FaceTime because I was laughing so hard that there's just a stump painted. But to each their own, right? That is art, voila. Okay, now we have this other one. That's kind of cool, right? So burned wood, it de the artist is definitely telling a story of nature and urban sprawl with this on um, forces of nature by timothy murdoch here at the san diego international there we go and now here's one you might recognize what does that look like firewood and it's connected to a chain that up there is quite um a trellis but there's the the visual and then the last one, <laughs> another one that sort of made me chuckle. Um, I mean, I like it, it's cool. It's just, it's wood painted. This one's gorgeous. This kind of quality of the wood, I don't know what it is. My brother would know if he looked at it long enough. But this one's another one of those like, you know what, let's just stop here. Instead of making it firewood, let's paint it and put it in the San Diego airport as art. So, oh, I'm super excited because this Sunday I'm gonna be talking about financing your tiny home as well as certifying your tiny home. That's right, you get two for one, Sunday, I think one o'clock-ish from the main stage. And I'm really excited because I'm gonna be here with the Tiny Home Industry Association's table uh, we've got the um, postcard that we're going to be handing out to the builders and commercial. Anyone that's involved in the tiny home industry, we are having a member meetup at the Viewpoint Brewery on Saturday night at 6.30. It's right across from the Del Mar Fairgrounds. And I'm excited about you know meeting up with my friends, Alexis and Christian from Tiny House Expedition. We got Dan Fitzpatrick from American Tiny House Association and Thea. When I say Thea, it means Tiny Home Industry Association. It's just a long word. So we got Thea in the house, and we also have Nick Mosley from California Tiny House. I don't know if we're gonna have Alex um, from Pacific West Tiny Homes. We'll see. 
and it's just a good gang. We're going to be meeting new friends within the industry and it's time for some play and for some work and pulling things together. And back at home, something just happened. Um, there is a possibility. My ultimate dream is that we create a place for people to be able to tour a tiny home, maybe stay in a tiny home. Um, you know, like what I realized is I'm calling out for my dream. And my dream involves a place where it's legal and the ability to bring people together and do education, host workshops, um, bring people together to talk about tiny homes. I'm putting the firewood behind me. <laughs> um, so all of those things are so important and I realize if I don't visualize what it is I want, I'm not gonna get it. So it's time to share that with you that in this whole journey, now we're 19 days in, from getting our 30 day notice, going through the waves, going through this real estate investment focus, going through all kinds of things. Um, really the focus is we want a place where we can have tiny homes be available to tour, for people to purchase, and I'm starting to make the connections to do that, as well as financing of tiny homes, because that's a big one. There are ways to get financing right now, so that is available but there could be even better products available. And I'm super excited to be evolving that with a crew of people. Can't really talk about it too much because I'm under NDA and I'm also in development of myself. But do know that we come out of this whole thing and pitch this to the right people who say yes for it. It's gonna be a game changer for the industry of tiny homes. All right, you guys, have a great day. Check out experiencetinyhomes.org, offering you consulting on taking you from being a dreamer of tiny homes, living, tiny home living, to a dweller. That's right, we got the dreamer to dweller consultancy package. Um, right now on the website, it really talks about design only, but we are so expanding that, that you know the website takes a minute to catch up with me. So I gotta bring that up to current, and, but do get a 20 minute free tiny home consult if you're thinking of going tiny and you'd like to really talk about it. I don't care if you're looking for it in two or five years, I'm pulling together the products from within the industry. I do not have to create everything on my own. I can go out and get the things that are already out there. The key is I know where to look, right? I know who the experts are because I've been focusing and staying consistent with this industry for a year now. I've been longer, meaning but two years, the first year we were building our home, so we were immersed in our own world. The second year has been all about being in the industry. We haven't had to build our own home. We were able to travel and meet people like Alexis and Christian and Zach Giffen and Dan Fitzpatrick and Nick Mosley and the list goes on. And there's way more people than that. So check it out, experiencetinyhomes.org, also on Instagram, Facebook, and, in, and YouTube, at Experience Tiny Homes. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.